In 2009, Eddie Acuna was a regular high school kid in Pomona, California, playing football in his team's homecoming game when an on-field collision changed his life. Though he was wearing a regulation football helmet, Edward, now 21, suffered a catastrophic brain injury. Now he's mentally and physically disabled for life. Volleyball. Baseball. Expressing simple thoughts about his favorite sports is now a struggle. Why do you like football so much? I love football. I Porque ahorita es un niño grande. Tengo que cuidarlo como un niño. Catastrophic brain injuries are things uh, that these helmets are supposed to protect. The technology has been around for at least 20 years. Ilias Akbari is the Los Angeles lawyer representing Acuna in a case his family brought against the manufacturer of the football helmet, Riddell. Nowadays. Helmets are very good at preventing skull fractures, but they're not very good at uh, reducing concussions or reducing um, the incidence of bridging vein tears. Akbari says Akuna's helmet is responsible for the vein rupture that happened after a routine hit to the front of his helmet. Akbari says the front padding on Akuna's helmet failed under hot game time conditions, a problem that he says Riddell has known about for years. So when kids are running around wearing this helmet, uh, in the heat, and it's heating up, uh, it loses all of its protection, and that's when you get these injuries. A spokesman for Riddell, the official supplier of helmets to the NFL, declined to comment, citing the pending lawsuit. But on its homepage, Riddell says player safety is a priority. We are committed to designing and manufacturing the most protective helmets for all football players, the website says, based on the most credible scientific research available. In September 2013, four former NFL players sued the league and Riddell, claiming that both knew about the risks of brain injuries that could happen while wearing the company's helmets, but never told the players. For Edward Acuna's parents, the goal of challenging Riddell in court is to educate other parents about the risks of helmet-related injuries. The main thing is to let the public know that this equipment that they are using is unsafe. And because if we would have known back then, I would never let him, you know, uh, play football. The only way you're going to prevent this from happening to other kids is if we change the design. And you can't really get these corporations to change their designs, um, unfortunately, without lawsuits. Edward Acuna's case against Riddell is scheduled to begin in Los Angeles Superior Court on November 6th. In Pomona, California, I'm Paul Von Zielbauer reporting for Lawyers.com.